So Luca, is, uh, she served in the Marine Corps for six years, and she's trained to uh, detect explosive devices. Um, and she did two tours to Iraq and one to Afghanistan, and uh, she led over 400 patrols, and no one behind her was ever, was ever injured. Um, and so she was you know, directly responsible for saving lives and uh, was able to you know, bring other service members home to their families, and including myself and, and her other handler, uh, Juan Rodriguez. While she was leading a patrol in uh, Afghanistan, uh, they left a tree line uh, where their current handler was uh, Juan Rodriguez, and they located an IED. And then we have a thought process where there's one, there's two, where there's two, there's three. So you start sweeping for secondaries. And uh, as Luca was sweeping the area, searching the area for additional IEDs, one was booby trapped and detonated, and it took off her lower left leg. And uh, but she searched off lease, so nobody else on that patrol was hurt. And so Rodriguez went up and put a tourniquet on her, took her back to a safe area, and I got her medevac in 10 minutes. Um, and she was walking within uh, 10 days, uh, made a full recovery, and she's about to be 13 years old, and she's still going strong, still has the same personality. You know, I've seen dolls go through a lot less and, and suffer a lot more, so it really is, you know, a testament to her character. And, uh, and you know, she, like I said, on the battlefield, she's the one you want on your side. In, uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan, the, the number one threat to coalition forces was uh, improvised explosive devices. And one of the best countermeasures was a well-trained dog team. So having these dogs uh, was invaluable, having them out on patrols. And one of our primary responsibilities was to walk point. And uh, these dogs were, were responsible for saving countless lives over there. So there's, there's a saying in K-9 that uh, obedience is a foundation for all dog training. But even more important than that is you got to have a strong rapport with your dog. And it, it takes a while to, to build that during training, but you start building that trust. And, um, you know, we got to the point to where uh, Luca knew what I needed from her before I even asked her when we was in, uh, in combat. And in the same time, she knew she could count on me and we really depended on each other over there. Uh, and one thing I thought was uh, great about our job, you know, our primary responsibility was, was to save lives. Uh, but in between patrols, I could take her searching harness off and let her go kind of run around the, the troops that we were supporting. And it would you know, help bring morale up and just bring a piece of home to a bad situation. Um, all, all things I love about being a dog handler, and I was fortunate enough to have you know, one of the best at, at her job in Luca. It's, a, it's an incredible honor, because uh, I know what Luca means to me. She's the only reason I made it home from Iraq. And uh, for her to receive this award is an incredible honor. And it's, and it's bigger than just her, because it's gonna help bring awareness to, to the service and sacrifice of all our military working dogs, which is also special and near and dear to me.